Hello everybody, the North Tampa Bay Road Show, Chamber Road Show has brought me to Innovation Prep right here in Connected Cities. We were here back in the spring for the groundbreaking. It seems like just yesterday. And I'm here with Dr. Capwell, who is the principal of the school. The very first class is coming in next yes. week. We're busy getting ready right now for our uh, first ever Meet the Teacher right. event on Thursday. Yes, we'll have grades kindergarten through sixth grade this year. We'll add seventh grade next year and eighth grade the year after. It's very exciting. It is. It's an absolutely phenomenal space. Tell us a little bit about Innovation Prep and in coming together here in Connected Cities. Sure. Innovation Prep is founded on the principle of the WISH model, which is a focus on wellness, innovation, science, and health. Um, for wellness, we actually have uh, wellness breaks built into our day for physical, mental, emotional um, health to build that in. We have um, a health elective for all of our students, K through eight eventually. We have um, a focus obviously on innovation, as you can see with our smart board usage. Yeah. And if you were uh, tuned into the news, you saw our owl cameras that we'll be utilizing, which I'll speak a little bit to yeah. in a little bit. Um, and then science, uh, all of our students will have an additional science STEM elective in addition to their normal science coursework. And our middle schoolers will be have the opportunity to take high school courses, including some science courses um, by the time they graduate the eighth grade wow. for us. And then our focus on health, we do have a partnership with Advent Health um, that will allow us to be able to invite medical professionals here for uh, talks with our students, uh, perhaps, maybe in the future, some um, internships, things like that. We'll be able to have health fairs here uh, so that families in the community can actually benefit. So that the WISH model is the foundation of what we are doing, uh, in addition to the rigorous curriculum and expectations that Charter Schools USA has in the first place. So that's where we all are starting. Yeah, well, that's awesome and amazing. So are you guys on the Pasco County calendar? We are. We are following okay. the Pasco County calendar. Our first day of school is the 24th. Okay. So we are still enrolling. So that's what everyone I was going to ask. Out there, if you're still looking for um, an opportunity for your kindergartner through uh, sixth grade, we are um, actively enrolling right now. Okay. We have. We are actually on a wait list. It's very small, like a couple people in kindergarten, but we'll move through that as okay. uh, as we uh, move for the through the first week of school or so. But for those of you who are um, worried. I guess yes. about the beginning of the year because yes. that's what's on everybody's mind. Yeah, are course. we opening? Are we not? Are we staying home? Are we doing, you know, some kind of quasi model? The reality of it is for us here in prep, we have three models that we are offering to our families. We have a full time face to face five days a week, what you normally would think of with traditional school with social distancing uh, measures in place, as well as um, additional sanitizing and, and cleaning procedures that are going on throughout the day uh, to ensure that our students are as safe as possible in today's world, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and we also have a blended model where our students will come to school face-to-face -face on Monday and Tuesday and then work from home in the, our fully mobile experience on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then we have a fully mobile experience uh, where our students are working from home. Um, all of our students, whether they're face-to-face, -face, blended, or uh, fully mobile, have an iPad. Okay. They'll be issued an iPad at Meet the Teacher, um, and they'll use that throughout the day. We're using a, a digital platform called Schoology that allows us to build our lesson plans and all of our activities, our assignments, our videos, our textbooks, everything in this one environment. So it's as easy as you log into your iPad, click on this folder, and that folder might say ELA, August 24th. You click on it and all in that folder will be a Zoom link with the password. You click on it's that all right there. and you go to that as a student and the parents, it's, it's made to be easy for the, the family right. because we know we've learned a lot from last spring, okay, right? You know, yeah. the, the fears the parents had, the anxiety over having to try oh to, to teach. I know, as, as a parent, <laughs> so, I, I, I feel that pain and I'm having the anxiety coming yeah. forward. So. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is that um, by using this technology and a very special tool that we are acquiring right now uh, that's on its way here is called the OWL camera. It's a 360 degree camera that follows a teacher around the classroom and actually is voice activated. So it'll focus on me as a teacher, but then we'll actually set up a second screen if a student, uh, say in the classroom, raises their hand and asks a question so that the student at home can see the teacher, 
can see at least one or two other peers as well as a picture of the whole class and be able to interact and actually make, you know, connections with faces and, and other students in the class, even if they're at home for the first few weeks. Wow. So it, it's, it's the closest thing to actually getting to experience school. Right. Um, even if you're at home. And that's where innovation comes from, the innovation preparatory school and your partnership with Connected Cities. You guys are right here on, on their property and talk a little bit about we, that. We are located um, off Curly Road, right, up, right across from really the Epperson Lagoon. I can be on the second floor. If we looked out that window, you can see the top of the, the lagoon yes. out there. So yes, I, I joked about that with one of my friends. Um, but yes, we are right here. Um, Watergrass is on one side, Epperson is on this side, and we are um, a part of their uh, community and a part Master. of many of their yeah. events and um, it's, it's wonderful yeah. to be a part of with partners with Metro. Metro, we the chamber has been partners with them as well throughout this entire project so it's very neat for us as the chamber to come and see all of the pieces coming together over these many years. So you're starting next week. Anything that the parents need to know about wearing masks for the students and I know you took my temperature when I came in are you going to be doing that for everybody or? We will. Okay. Um, when uh, the families pull into the car line, they'll pull up to our um, uh, coned area and we will stop everyone and um, we will give a signal for the families and uh, our staff members will go to each car to um, ask the screening questions, step temperature check each person that's getting out. Then they'll release from the car to go um, along in the, the normal you know, trek into the yes. into the school. Um, then they will have to um, follow the, the one-way arrows through the school to their classroom, where in, if you were to able to look around here, you would see that our desks are anywhere from four to six feet apart. Yes. And our students will stay with a cohort of students throughout the day, whether they go to electives or they're eating lunch, um, or they're actually working in groups in the classroom, they'll work with the same group of kids. So yes, they will have to wear masks, but here, one of the things, because we are focusing on well-being, one of the things we're going to do is every hour, our teachers are going to give the students a mask break where they will socially distance at their own desk, away from everyone else, take down their mask and just relax Sorry. for a couple minutes. And the students at home will get to take a screen break because what we know for the, those families at home and their well-being is that they can get overcome with so much screen time and we are live. So the students will be participating with us throughout the entire normal school day. So um, they'll be able to go to lunch with us if they want, or they can take a screen break right. and, and just rejoin us in the next class. Oh my gosh. Well, this sounds like nothing like a school that I went to. No. I would have loved this opportunity. They are still enrolling here at Innovation Prep on Curly Road. They can find you on the web at innovation-prep.com. Dot org. Mm -hmm. oh, dot org. Yep. Okay. And then also you can find us on Facebook at Innovation Preparatory Academy or on Twitter or Instagram at InPrep. Well, thank you so much for having me and good luck to all the teachers and all of the students that are going back to school next week. We look forward to coming back and celebrating with you an official grand opening that would um, be in, wonderful. A, in a few months. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for coming out today and uh, definitely keep our, our teachers and our students our families, and, and in your thoughts. Yes, and we'll see you again on the next Chamber Roadshow.